Yo, what is going on guys? Today with the golf cart back again, we are testing some Chitoli branded batteries. But in this case, well, instead of getting one whole battery, it's actually four batteries and these are 12.8 volts. But when they're fully charged, it goes up to like 13-ish, uh, 13, like 13.3 volts or something like that. And yes, I need it. A, a total of four in order to power on my cart which as you guys probably know it is the Yamaha G22 from 2003 and we already got one charge uh, we had to charge them fully uh, before connecting them in series as you guys probably know so this is one of them that I already have out of the box fully charged we got the uh, screws here for the terminals already on there and uh, yes, this is what we're going to use. So that's one and I have one in the box here. So that way you guys get an idea of what comes inside of the uh, box of the battery, of course. So we get the manuals, okay? And they do seem to uh, be quite uh, detailed. And uh, it says right here that it is best if you guys charge them before actually using them which is what we're doing and these are the batteries that come covered with this plastic and um, they come with some foam on the inside and you also get the bolts here for the terminals and uh, that's pretty much it guys so right here we have all the info for them these are uh, lithium um, lithium phosphate batteries you can see right here 100 amp hours 12.8 volts so of course we're going to charge all of them i purchased uh, two chargers one is a 20 amp this one is a 4 amp but i purchased this one after purchasing this one because i saw that it was taking way too long so anyways we're charging some of them with a new charger and i'm going to leave the links down below in case you guys need it but yes you have to charge all of them to 100 percent before putting it together guys so without further ado, let's get in charge and I'll be right back. One thing I forgot to mention is that I purchased better quality wires to connect the batteries in series. And I also changed the main wires that go to the controller on uh, this particular golf cart. And I'm gonna show you here briefly what I'm talking about. It is a little bit dark now, but this terminal right here and the negative that goes uh, to the controller I did swap them for better wires that way I get better current going through the cart and eventually that turns out to be better performance overall we got all the batteries set up we had to charge them individually and once we got them all at 100 percent this is our verdict right here so in order to connect them in series, of course, you would have to go from a negative to a positive, negative to a positive, negative to a positive, and then you're going to end up with a negative here and a positive right over here. And if you guys look, I connected my power converter for the cart. I kind of stretched the wires. Uh, I connected the positive here and I went all the way to the other end. That way I have 51.2 volts as I typically do. And uh, then I, uh, like I said, I upgraded the uh, terminals here for the uh, controller. I went uh, with better wires. And uh, the last thing I did was connect the uh, charger plug. And now everything is good to go, guys. Uh, one last thing I did here with this cart was install this little LCD display, in which provides the voltage, the uh, the battery percentage as you can tell we are at 100 percent and that was the last thing i did and i did test the card and everything is working perfectly well so what i'm going to do now is take a couple of days maybe a week or two to test this card test the batteries and then to give you guys at the end a final verdict on how they did i don't have a balancer i am on a golf cart group uh, mainly for Navitas and uh, somebody mentioned uh, one of the members that I should have a balancer for the batteries but these are all the same brand which is what's recommended uh, before you guys put uh, uh, 
uh, lithium phosphate batteries in series is that they all have to be the same brand, the same age, the same voltage, and the same capacity, which is exactly what we have here. And so far, I haven't had no issues uh, with these batteries charging. They're all charging at the same time. They do have a smart BMS, which is a non-Bluetooth BMS. So we can't uh, get any data uh, straight from the batteries, unfortunately. But if you guys are in a budget uh, for the whole setup, and I'm talking about the wires, the battery, and even the uh, charger, in which I'm gonna show you here real quick, I invested maybe about almost $600 in total. The chargers right here, this is a uh, 48 volts, of course, for lithium phosphate batteries. This is 15 amps and it is working great. The link for this charger will be left down below. And I was able to customize here the connector for the cart. So I didn't have to modify anything. I can simply plug this in on the front here and it charges just fine. So again, for the whole setup guys, this is one of the cheapest that I've seen. But at the same time, you are cutting on features such as the Bluetooth BMS in which I find it to be very helpful. Uh, in this case, we don't have that. But as for the performance, they do perform exactly the same as any other lithium phosphate battery. The BMS on these batteries have a maximum amperage of 200 uh, for about three seconds approximately. So when it comes to the range, I did get approximately, I think it was about 24 miles in total, okay, which is uh, slightly less than what I've gotten with other lithium phosphate batteries. And I'm talking the ones that come in one piece instead of having four separate ones. So maybe there is a little bit of a power loss with the wiring, and maybe that's what's causing it not to last as long. But it does perform great, guys. It is super fast. I have no issues getting up to about 25 miles an hour. As a matter of fact, you're gonna pull here my speedometer and on video, I'm gonna show you guys how fast it is. I opened the wrong speedometer here, I opened a speed test. So we were doing about 17 miles an hour so we will just make a U-turn right here. And this is just to give you guys an idea on what to expect on these uh, Chitoli batteries. So as you guys can tell, we're doing 21. It goes up to 25, this cart maximum. But it has no problems getting up to speed. So that's 23. And this is with the stock motor, guys. All right? And of course, without weight. Now, something I didn't notice when it comes to the speed is that with other batteries that have tested lithium phosphate uh, batteries is that it goes up to the actual 25 miles an hour. Now, here's the tricky part about these batteries that you guys need to understand is the fact that these batteries were not sent to me for the cart. They were sent to me to be used with solar power, to be used on an RV, to be used with something that is entirely different to golf carts. However guys, these batteries are very impressive in the sense that they didn't cut off. So the BMS was powerful, or it is powerful enough, to handle the draw um, that this card is right now taking. It's usually on takeoff, it's about 186 amps. And knowing that this can do up to 200 amps for about three seconds, well, we are just about there to where the card doesn't cut off. And we are running a Navita system on here. So, even though we're not doing a speed test, this is just to give you guys uh, an idea, like I said earlier, on what to expect on these Chitoli batteries, as it is one of the cheapest setups that I've done ever on batteries, guys. So as you can see, the card is behaving well. No issues when it comes to performance. 
very cool stuff the takeoff is also very very aggressive and again guys I don't have a way of showing you the BMS uh, Bluetooth of course because it doesn't have one I don't have an application on my smartphone otherwise I would have shown you but hey for the price if you guys are on a budget and you want a car to get moving and you want something a little bit better than lead acid batteries well this is your answer right here guys I am super super happy with the overall performance on this little cart with these batteries it has been a great Yamaha cart I just put a whole bunch of uh, suspension parts here I put the struts the front ones I bought one from Amazon specifically 10 lol that brand and those were terrible actually I had to take them out and then I bought a second pair from eBay and I'm only talking about the front ones the front struts uh, the rear shocks I got them also from eBay very cheap the guy just happened to have them in handy and never used them so I got them I put them in the back and it feels amazing the handling on this thing is crazy but for the front I had to return them get some other ones I put the rack companion it has the auto tie rods it has a brand new bearings it has brand new pretty much everything on the front and this thing is performing great and uh, it is needed guys because with these batteries you need to get up to speed and having a good suspension is always a must so like I said guys when it comes to the Chitoli batteries they are amazing for what you're paying again I got about 20 25 miles in total range before I had to charge it and I had no hiccups no issues no cutoffs no nothing they work great keep in mind that you can only connect up to four in series so you can only do up to 48 volts in this case it is 51.2 volts in total and that's the maximum that you can put together um, based on what the manuals are telling us guys so there we have it I was able to connect here the power converter you can see I kind of stretched the wires a little bit too much uh, I think I told you guys I put in new terminals uh, better better uh, wires and I can tell the difference it is behaving very very well and when it comes to the card the only thing we need to do to this card to make it look amazing is just maybe a paint job and maybe better tires and rims and that's all it needs guys it is a very good card I love this battery setup one of the cheapest out there and uh, I don't think you guys will regret it even if you go the cheaper route right here I did install this uh, display which uh, tells us the uh, battery percentage and whatnot and it works great as well I had to calibrate it and it is working fantastic guys I think that with this being said we have successfully covered here everything about the Chitoli batteries if you guys have any questions don't forget to leave your comments down below I will do my best to answer it as soon as possible thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one